Hello YouTube, welcome to the Cordipity channel. Today I'm going to show you how to decorate your cobra knot bracelet using an advanced herringbone stitch. If you don't know how to make a cobra bracelet, you can watch my earlier video. I've put a link in the description box below. First you tuck the microcord on the back side of your bracelet and hide it underneath a few knots. For the stitching work, you will need around one and a half to two meters of microcord. Tie an overhand knot at the end to stop it from becoming undone. As a general rule, you want to make a zigzag pattern around the ridges. Stitch your microcord into the middle of this ridge and travel around the edge of the ridge. Since you enter from the inside of the knot and out, the strand should be under itself. Travel up, take your microcord around the edge of this ridge, and since you enter from the outside in, the strand should be over itself. Travel down again, take your microcord around the edge of this ridge. Since you enter from the outside in, the strand should be over itself. Travel up. Stitch your microcord into the middle of this ridge and travel around the edge. And since you enter from the inside of the knot and out, the strand should be under itself. Travel down, stitch the microcord from the middle and out. So the strand should be under itself. Remember, if you enter from the middle of the ridge and out, the strand should be under itself. And if you enter from the outside in, the strand should be over itself. That way the pattern will interlock itself. Continue the same pattern, traveling up and down and in and out of the ridges and try to keep it nice, 
tight and consistent. Once you get to the final ridge, bring the microcord to the back side of the bracelet. And tuck it underneath a few knots so it is nice and secure. Trim the excess cord. And hide it underneath the knot. Also trim the overhand knot on the other side and hide the loose strand underneath the knot. And you have yourself a Cobra bracelet with advanced herringbone stitch. I would like to give a shout out to Potter5237. Check out his Instagram feed for all kinds of cool stitching works, designs and inspirations. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this tutorial then please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any question or suggestion, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and happy weaving.